Hello, I'm Jeremy from Berker's Dog Pets, and here today I am here to show you how to put together the Peluche dog bed. Um, I'm going to be putting together a Peluche dog bed with a Permatron mat. If you have a standard mat, you can still use this video to help you put, put it together. The only difference is with the standard mat, you'll have a mat that has a wooden rail that is already pre-attached to the fabric. You will not have to slide in the tubing. So here I've laid out everything I have got in the package and as what I do is I have on one side I have my long pieces and the other side I have my small pieces. So over here I have all my long rails and on the other side the small rails as well as my long tubing and the small tubing. And again if you purchased uh, your bed with a standard mat you will not have these little tubes. So we're going to go ahead and start to put together the bed. Um, first, I want to uh, tell you that my mat is facing uh, the top side down. We basically build the bed upside down, and you'll notice that um, all the seams are on the top side right now, as well as the little corners are pointing up. That's how you want to have your mat positioned. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a uh, small side. I'm going to put the tubing in. The easiest way to put the tubing in is to kind of put it under right here at this angle and down and then push. Okay, so we've got tubing in. We're going to put our first corner in. And now here to help you um, put the corner in, really the best way is to pinch the material right here so that you can slide it over a little bit easier. And then again, you'll want to pinch it again and kind of grab right here and you can pull up a little bit and put your finger right here and it helps you slide it right in. Okay, so now we're going to put on our first rail. Again, uh, on the rails we want to have the black lettering facing up because again we're building the dog bed upside down right now. So here I'm going to go ahead and pinch the mat again and sometimes to get over the seam give it a little wiggle and uh, Will cooperate with me. There we go. Give it a little wiggle, push to the side, and there you go. The first one always seems to be the most difficult. Now, don't push too hard right now, or you'll push your corner right out. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a long, grab a long tubing. Again, in, under, and then push through. Just like that. Black lettering side up. trying to slide it straight like this. We're going to slide it first at an angle like this. Then we're going to kind of push it back here a little bit and then slide it on. So again, I'm going to, you might need to uh, push the tube up a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. Pinch this down a little bit. So now I'm at an angle a little bit. Now I'll move it in like that. Now you can kind of push it a little bit here to get things lined up and just slide it on. That really helps for that last piece, especially if the mat is pretty tight. Okay, now we're going to do what we call the last corner. We use the clamshell corner, so you just kind of open it up a little bit, pull it apart, about that much. Uh, you don't have to pull it much more than that. And now we're just going to put that on, just like this, slide it over, push it down, 
might need to pull the rails out a little bit so that they snap into place. There we go. Looks like things have gotten snapped into place. Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, putting in one bolt. Uh, I don't think I need to demonstrate all of them. So I usually do it uh, just like this. Put it in from the bottom. And right here, I'm looking through this hole in the corner so I can see where the hole is and I can line everything up. So that's where I'm watching the bolt come through. And then we go right up to the top. And then we're just going to screw the wing nut on. Uh, at this point, do not tighten the wing nuts down until you have all of your bolts in and your wing nuts on. Then go back around and tighten them down. Um, if you do tighten them down uh, too tight is what will happen when you go to put the leg in you'll feel like it's really hard to push it in. It shouldn't be hard to push it in. You can see I can slide it in, pull it out, slide it in, pull it out. That's about how it should be. Um, so if you do get to this point and you try to put your leg in and it feels really hard to push it all the way in, probably it's because these are too tight and you'll just want to loosen these back up. So now you just put your legs in, take your vinyl feet, just kind of what I like to do is squeeze them a little bit and give them a twisty motion and then they go right on just like that so squeeze and twist and push down and it's on so again uh, this is how you put the Peluche bed together and I'm going to show you what a Peluche bed looks like when it's finished I have one right here on the side so this is what the bed would look like when it's finished that's it all put together all the legs all the black vinyl feet are on it Thanks for watching the video. I hope this helped you uh, put the bed together, and we do appreciate your business. And we do hope that your dog loves their new Peluche bed.